name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today is officially September 2nd, which is mine and my husband's Rob 17th anniversary. So I put together this lit, this look, and you're going to see that in a few minutes. But um, Rob and I have made it a whopping 17 years full of love and adoration. For real. All right, there might be a little little stretching of the truth. Actually, we've had a great 17 years together, roller coaster rides of ups and downs, mostly ups, a couple little hiccups, but that's okay. So today we're going to say um, 17 things that have gotten us to where we are or what we appreciate from each other. You want to start? Sure. What's number one? Number one is to be best friends. Okay, he Friendship stole my first. line. He uh, stole my line. Um, Number two, to be absolutely supportive. No matter what Rob and I do, we totally support each other. I think that's also to a degree of number three, accepting you for who you are, no matter your faults or your good, your bad, your uglies, everything, accepting for who you are. Number four, always finding something to appreciate from one another. Even the small things can be actually the big things. So when we live together, which he hasn't fully relocated with me to Texas yet, every morning he brings me coffee in bed to start my morning. Okay. Your number five. Number five is always love. Just love is all there is and that you love them unconditionally uh, as well. I think that's very important. I think we always tend to overlook that love is all that we have and love is all there is and I love you with all my heart. Oh, I love you with all my heart. And we got this on video. <laughs> we'll have to rewind that when we, we might just be irritated with each other. Um, number six, enjoy the journey. So Rob and I like to go back on time every once in a while and enjoy the journey and go back to some of our fun times and things that we've done and we have definitely enjoyed the journey. I think one thing that we do is uh, we don't have kids, we never have, uh, but we have welcomed numerous young people into our lives and have mentored them and they mean a big deal to us personally and, and, and together. And we're so proud of each one of them uh, for each and one of their individual uniqueness, uniquenesses. Uh, but I think that welcoming, opening our home to others around the world has brought the world to us and has brought uh, so much joy in our lives. Number seven definitely would be our kids. So we have kids in several different countries and then we have some kids statewide or uh, stateside so to speak that we've mentored and I definitely think number seven is really precious to us because while we may not have had our own kids and that's why we don't know how old we are because we've never aged is that we've really enjoyed mentoring our children worldwide and we love when they come home and we love the text messages we get from some daily, some weekly, and the phone calls and everything else. So um, where the door closed for us to have our own children, uh, about eight windows opened up worldwide. So we really enjoy the children that we do have. Be a part of the community in which you live and together and we have a, uh, a uniqueness about our relationship that I'm the more outgoing in our communities but the giving back has always been something that's been strong in Amy's life and we've done that in numerous ways through rotary and through fostering our little pups which one is running around here right now. Actually you got seven and eight. I guess now we're doing the joint um, how we got here 17 years. So as far as um, to support what Rob said, giving back to others is huge. We've done that through, um, again, Rotary. We've both been Rotarians. Um, we both enjoyed rescuing and helping our Humane Socie Society in Blue Ridge, Georgia. And um, we do have a passion for helping others. And I think that really is great. And we've supported each other through each other's um, giving back efforts. So there's been times Rob's been involved in things and I've stuffed a million bags for fundraisers and he supports me as I have traveled 
um, and, and been involved in several communities because of my job. So we're very thankful for being able to give back and that is huge when you and your, your spouse can give back to the community. I think one thing too, you mentioned a minute ago about enjoying the journey is that embrace all the moments uh, because every moment that goes, does go by, one thing Amy keeps referring to is that we don't have any kids and doesn't age. We don't age. We don't have markers in our life. We don't have kindergarten. We don't have when they graduate high school. But the moments that we do celebrate are those everyday moments. Um, the, the sun sets. We have a deal where we used to step out of the back of when we lived in Georgia, when she lived in Georgia. Uh, on the back deck, we had a yay God moment and just enjoyed the day, thanking God for another day. And really that was just representing the whole universe coming together for us. So, I think I've lost count. I don't know what number you're on. I don't know what number we're but on we're either. We're from 17. I think we're on like, that was number nine or 10. I think so. <laughs> One of the things that we do well is that we laugh a lot. We are pretty goofy, pretty stupid. Um, we do things to make each other laugh. Uh, probably when we were first together and I was half the size that I am now. He was able to lift me up on the ceiling because I wanted to be Spider-Man and he held me up and I kind of crawled around the ceiling like Spider-Man. Still never know what our neighbors might have thought about that moment looking through the windows, but you know, hey, it's never a dull moment in our household. So always find reasons to laugh. That's a good one. That is a good one because we do laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. The, uh, I think the one thing too is that we recognize that both of us have distant families and uh, unique families and so that we always try to, to be a part of those families when we can and as we can and uh, that sometimes means being separated when we do that uh, but we've had a great time of enjoying our Families, our extended families, families that don't want to be a part, so embrace the, the concept of family, and we are a family. Rob and I are definitely our family. We've made an in um, a slightly different type of family with all the, the children we have worldwide and then all of our dogs, so we don't exactly have the normal family with nine dogs, a grand fish, and a pig. And our grandfish is actually 11 years old now. Okay. Um, one of our first exchange students, Michael Scott from Scotland, was with us a year. And then when he left, he left us our grandfish, which is a Placostoma. So if you need a fish that you can't kill, a Placostoma is it. Um, that's all I'm saying. Um, but as far as family goes, I think family is very important. It's nice to have family members that love you unconditionally. And when Rob says that we sometimes have to be separated for family events, it is because of our nine pups, a pig and our grandfish. Um, mostly because they're, it's too hard to try to get them into different kennels. And it is a lot on someone to come and ask them to babysit our, our menagerie for a week. So yeah, we sometimes have to take vacations separate, but the great part about Rob and I, whenever we're separated, where if it's vacation or this year, since January 3rd, we've kind of been apart while I'm transitioning with my new career in Texas, is that we, there, we still talk every single day um, there's not a day that goes by that we are, when we are apart, that we're still not engaged. And when we do it, we actually use FaceTime. So um, when you are have to be far apart from your spouse, there is the FaceTime ability on the phone. And we also, probably number 12 or 13, whatever number we're on now, um, what we also do is we send daily funny pictures to each other. So first thing in the morning, um, whoever sends it first has one and, and we might do funny faces, we might do serious faces and we start out the day saying, I love you, I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, I don't think there were funny faces I was doing. Okay, well. Anyway. I may have left the, bag out of the, the cat out of the bag on that one. Um, I think that friend and conditional love. I don't know, I mean, what else do you think? I'm trying to... 
Okay, 17 was a little hard, but we encompassed a lot with really big titles. <laughs> I do thank Rob for all of his support, including my hobby on YouTube with the YouTube channel. And um, I am kind of an older YouTuber, and so he has definitely supported me and believed in me and this channel. And um, he even watches my videos from time to time, and the fact that he is willing to go on camera today for the first time for our 17th anniversary uh, means a lot to me because he is a little camera shy, ladies and gentlemen. But um, all in all, I have to say being married to Rob has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I didn't know at the age of 25 necessarily what I was getting into. Um, all I knew is that I had someone that I met and we were friends first and actually I was trying to get him to have a love connection with one of my other best friends. Side note, that's another story. But I ended up keeping them for myself because we did have so much fun. We, there's no jealousy, there's always laughter, we're, we are just complete goobers. And I think that's one of the things that has gotten us through, you know, a couple of hard patches is that we do really love each other at the core. We respect each other at the core and we have enjoyed the journey and we do really, really respect one another. And I think that's what makes a successful marriage is when you truly do respect one another. And even when you hit those hard patches, you do what you can to reconnect and remember all the reasons why you fell in love for the first time. And when you start reminding yourself during those rough patches of why you fell in love with this person for the first time, you fall in love with them all over again. And when you do, it's just even more meaningful than the first time. So I have been very blessed. Be honest. I mean, we didn't talk about even the basic things like being honest with each other and trust each other. Those are just like simple things that people I think overlook that we've been able to tell each other everything and anything. Sometimes I tell too much. Uh, and I think being able to trust somebody to the nth degree helps with that unconditional love concept because you just overwhelmingly believe in them and entrust them. Uh, I think those are things that can be added to your 13, 14, 15, 16 list. I think we've made 17 with all those. But I think that um, that's, we, and then always love being, being uh, affectionate and caring towards one another is always another big thing that we missed probably in your list. We may have missed it, but we picked it up now. So thank you very much, y'all. Um, I'd love to hear some of your comments and thoughts as far as um, this video goes. It's the first one that is totally different than any of the other videos I've put together. But having Rob with me for our 17th anniversary as a surprise gift was a great gift because we hadn't planned on being together. Um, he was going to be in Georgia. I was going to be here in Texas. He made it happen so that we could spend our 17th anniversary together. We are now going out to a very nice restaurant so that we can enjoy steaks because both of us enjoy eating. And um, I hope you guys again enjoyed this video. Until next time. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me and my husband do 17 wonderful things that we've enjoyed over the last 17 years of being married together. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.